Hi everyone, this is Elaine and welcome to MSI Playtesting and Know How, a brand new MSI hardware review series. We often receive messages from users asking which hardware is qualified for a particular game. With this new series, we hope to focus on MSI gaming desktop and monitor as a main platform for testing games. We we'll have Crybos Rocket City, a recently launched FPS game featuring a star stated cast published by Firefly Games for our testing. This game is well known for featuring multiple Hollywood celebrities, including Michael Mason, Michael Luker, Danny Trejo, and Danny Glover, among others. The game revolves around gangster crime and combines elements of first person shooting and turf wars. In the game, we play as Travis Becker, portrayed by Michael Mason a gangster who has his sight set on the position of being boss. After the ex boss died, Travis aggressively recruits members and competes for the position of the boss in the single-player story mode. This game is available on various platforms, so uh, you can play with uh, different devices. However, on gaming desktop, the performance might vary from different hardware configurations. The graphics of this game are very delicate, which means it requires higher hardware configuration than some other games. Therefore, not every computer can run this game smoothly. Firstly, we can check the minimum system requirement for Crimeboss Rocket City on Epic Games, which is necessary to meet the basic gaming experience. As long as your hardware performance is better than minimal requirements, theoretically you should be able to run the game. However, there is also a recommended system requirement that will provide smoother gaming experience. According to the system requirements on Epic Games, the minimal processor requirement for Crimeboss Rocket City is either an Intel Core i7-4790 or an AMD R5-1600 both of which are quad-core processors. The suggest uh, processor is the Intel Core i7-10600K or the AMD R5-3600. Both of them are 6-core processors from several years ago. This indicates that Crimeboss does not have high requirement for CPUs. One of the most important things is the graphic card, with the minimal requirement being a GTX 1650 or an AMD RX 570. This requirement is not considered too high. However, the recommended configuration for the graphic card is at the level of GTX 1070 or the RX Vega 56, indicated that there is a wider range of options available. If every setting is set in a lower level, resource can be saved. But if set into a higher level, hardware performance can be maximized. As for storage space, 90GB is required, which is a game that takes up a lot of storage space. However, under normal conditions and with current computer hardware specifications, it should be easy to run the game. Overall, when it comes to Crimeboss Rocket City, the hardware requirement emphasizes on having capable CPU and graphic card requiring a higher level for proportion of performance. However, because there is a wide range of options available, even with a lower-end graphic card, it is still possible to run the game with low spatial effect settings. Next, we will use the different MSI gaming desktops with different resolution monitors to test the game. This will allow everyone to see the game performance and visuals on different configurations. Players can take on the role of a gangster in 90s Florida in the game. Throughout the game, players can feel the developers' ingenuity and dedication, with highly architecture and map designs that accurately recreate the unique style of that era. We will use MSI hardware setup with different levels configuration to play Crimeboss. The game itself supports many different languages. First, let's take a look at the resolution settings. The first test platform is the MAG Infinite S313 gem. Here, let me explain what MAG is. We have three series, from entry to high. MAG, MPG, and MEG. The A in MAG stands for Arsenal, indicating a focus on rich features and durability. 
The P in MPG stands for performance, indicating a focus on higher gamma performance and giving users more option for customization. The next one, MPG stands for MSI Enthusiast Gaming, indicating that it is the highest level of gaming series from MSI. The MPG series is designed for heavy gamers and provides an extreme overclocking platform with the best hardware and software available. We can see that the CPU part of MPG Infinite at 13 Gen is equal with the main range mainstream Intel Core i7 13700F paired with RTX 4070. The memory is 32GB. And now some large games might consume more than 16 gigabyte of memory. Pair with our flat 4HD gaming monitor G2712 with a 27-inch IPS panel, 117Hz refresh rate for smooth gaming experience, and one millisecond response time. This is a stable hardware combination. Let's see how the performance of this combination performs. Next, let's move on to the game testing. With the 4HD performance setting fully turned on, the 4070 can still maintain above the 60fps standard in the game, and the GPU can also be kept below the 16 degrees, which is easy to control this game. Next, we are going to test the MPG series gaming desktop. MPG Infinite X2 30 Gen is a quick RTX 4070 Ti Ventus with Intel Core i7 3700KF and it has 16GB of memory with MSI latest high-end model MEG 342C QD OLED featuring the latest Samsung Quantum Dot Technology for the OLED panel It meets MSI exclusive Quantum Dot Premier Color Standard and has a UWQHD 21 to 9 800 R curve gaming display that meets the needs of different players. Let's take a look at how this setup performs in games. And when we switch to 4017 Ti and QHD monitor, we can see that the number of FPS can be maintained above 130 and the maxima can be exceed 200. And the temperature of the GPU can be still be maintained under 60 degrees. The last setup is our flagship gaming desktop, MEG Triton X2 30 Gen. We'll be testing this gaming desktop that features the highest end graphic card, the RTX 4090 Ventus, along with an Intel Core i9 3900 KDF processor. It also has a massive 128GB memory, consisting of four 32GB modules. It is paired with one of our top shot MPG 32.1 URQD monitor, which is a 4K 144Hz IPS quantum dot display. Play. Let's see how this hardware configuration performs. After switching to 1490, our monitor is also replaced with 4K monitor. The settings are also adjusted to 4K resolution and the game performance is fully turned on ultra. You can see the FPS can be above 16 or even above 100. The temperature performance of the GPU is still perfectly maintained below 16 degrees. When it comes to FPS games, the most frustrating thing is getting a game over because we can see the enemy. Therefore, MSI has developed an internal magnifying glass function that can magnify and shrink object in multiple stages making it easier for players to aim and shoot at their targets. In addition, it is also equipped with small crosshair which will automatically change color when it meets the target, allowing players to lock onto their target more clearly for counter-attacks. We hope that through these two assists, we can provide players with more competitiveness on the battlefield. By the way, if you have a particular favorite game or don't know which hardware to match with or which game for a smoother gaming experience, MSI has launched a Find My Favorite web page for your reference. You can choose your screen resolution or your favorite game as a basis of your selection. Both testing conclude our hardware and game review for today. After testing different hardware performance, which setup do you like the most? If you have any specific game you want to see, you can leave the comment below to let us know. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.